Welcome to the world of Eldergrove, where the past and present intertwine in a dance of shadows and whispers. In this chapter, we follow three brave souls, Lila Hawthorne, Oliver Finch, and Mabel Jenkins, as they step into the fog, leaving behind the vibrant sounds of the Harvest Festival. The fog is not just a mist. It is a living entity, pulsing with an ethereal glow, illuminating their path with flickering lights. Each step they take is heavy, laden with the weight of unspoken histories and the echoes of their ancestors. Join us as we delve into this mysterious journey, where the past beckons and the future is uncertain. As Lila Hawthorne, with her wild auburn curls, steps forward, the mist seems to respond to her emotions, swirling faster with each determined stride. Her heart races with a mixture of excitement and trepidation. We have to find out what they want to tell us, she urges, her voice steady despite the uncertainty. Oliver Finch, with his round glasses slipping down his nose, fiddles nervously with a small mechanical device he crafted. It whirs softly, a comforting sound amidst the haunting whispers that fill the air. I think I can communicate with them, he murmurs, his voice barely above a whisper. Mabel Jenkins, ever the pragmatist, hesitates, her sharp brown eyes scanning the mist for signs of danger. What if we uncover something we can't handle? She questions, her voice laced with concern. But Lila's fierce curiosity ignites a spark of defiance within her. We owe it to them to listen, Mabel. They deserve to be heard. Venturing deeper into the fog, the trio finds themselves surrounded by shadows that flicker in and out of existence. These are not just shadows. They are glimpses of figures from the past, farmers with weathered faces, children laughing in the fields, and a woman with sorrowful eyes, her hands outstretched as if reaching for something lost. Each spirit carries a story, a fragment of the town's history intertwined with the harvest that once brought both joy and sorrow. Lila feels a pull towards one spirit in particular, a figure that bears an uncanny resemblance to her own mother. Her heart aches with recognition, the connection palpable, a thread woven through time that binds them together in shared grief and longing. What do you want us to know? Lila whispers, her voice trembling as she steps closer to the apparition. The spirit's eyes flicker with a mix of hope and despair, and for a fleeting moment, Lila feels the warmth of her family's legacy envelop her like a comforting embrace. As the whispers grow louder, a chill sweeps through the fog, and the atmosphere shifts. The townsfolk, sensing the children's quest, begin to murmur among themselves, their voices rising in alarm. Mabel's fears materialize, and she turns to Lila, her expression a mixture of fear and resolve. We need to be careful. This isn't just about us anymore. The chapter closes with the children standing at the precipice of revelation, the fog swirling around them, a reminder of the unresolved grief that lingers in Eldergrove. They are not just seeking answers. They are stepping into a legacy that demands to be acknowledged, a journey that will test their courage and reshape their understanding of home.